oxidation states and oxidation numbers. So in this example problem, it asks us what is the oxidation state for the common anion of fluorine. So we have to find the oxidation state or oxi what is also called the oxidation number of fluorine. So when we, when we look at this, we have to remember that when we're looking for the oxidation number or oxidation state, it's the number of charges the atom would have if in a molecule or ionic compound if the electrons were transferred completely. So what we're going to notice in fluorine is that this number is actually just going to be the common ion of that. So it's actually going to gain one more. If it's doing what it wants to do to get its full octet, it's going to gain one. So it has one negative charge. So that actually means the answer to this question is negative one.